Paul and Tony into a cock. That's the very basis of this argument. Now, I personally believe that there were three reasons as to why, and only one of them are kind of flimsy, <laughs> but the other two are very, very bulletproof. So we'll just start with the weaker argument, but it does still apply in my opinion. On that video I made about how pornography is the hardest addiction to break, watch it after this one. This is a pretty short video, don't worry. I mentioned the website. The website is here. Now, woo. <laughs> that website, by the way, just talks about how pornography is a disgusting company. Uh, I'm sure it is. We already knew that, but hey, now they have some evidence, and now they're getting subpoenaed and shit. But anyway, one of the clips on those on that website, it had this guy, and he was talking about how if you look at some normal straight pornography, not normal, it's all disgusting, but you know what I mean. They'll push some like transsexual shit in there, or some gay shit in there. See if people stick to it. You know what I mean? I do believe they are probably pushing some cuck shit on you too, because hey. Maybe give this guy some taboo content to watch and maybe he'll like it. You know what I mean? He gets, he gets interested because, hey, this fucking degenerate taboo shit. And then, he you know, look, he's into it now. Which actually kind of ties into the other point. One of the main solid points I have. Porn will make you want to look at shit that you initially thought was nasty. So what I mean by that is, for example, you're on the site and you're looking at some normal uh, pornography. You know, a man, a woman... A bed, right? <laughs> when you look at that, you'll be off to it, you get hard from it, and you start being off to it. And then you look at the taboo shit, and you're like, man, that's fucking disgusting. I never look at that. But then you stop getting hard from that normal shit. And then that shit that you thought that was disgusting is a little more appealing. So then you start jacking off to that. And the other thing can't get you hard anymore, that normal shit. And this retard, disgusting shit makes you hard. And you look at the second phase of the of the uh, degeneracy, and you're like, "Hey, that's disgusting. I'd never jack off to that." But that shit you were jacking off to now ain't really good anymore. So you move to that, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. And then you get into the cock like the cold cucking shit, and then you're into that now. And I do believe that's a very big reason. But in my opinion, the biggest reason is that porn puts you into the cuck perspective. What I mean by that is. You know, I'm, I give you the example of there's a bed, there's a guy, and there's a girl. When you go and watch a normal porn video, there is no such thing as normal porn video, but you know what I mean. Like there's some vanilla shit, whatever the fuck. You look at a thumbnail, and there's a woman you find attractive, evidently. You know, whatever the fuck. And it's been edited to like make the fucking rack bigger and the gap bigger. <laughs> the gap. But I pretty basically saw the gap, sorry. Fucking little retard brain kicked him. There's a bed. And there's the girl you want to fuck getting fucked by some guy. And there's a camera recording it. And that's your perspective. You're the cameraman or the camera in the corner. And you're being off. I think you can see the issue here. You're literally a cuck in this perspective. You are conditioning your brain to like being the one who watches not the one who performs. You get hard from watching someone else do it, not you actually doing it. And if you do watch pornography right now, you can actually do a little bit of an epic test right now. Um, very depressing too, if you are someone who is prone to this. If you think about your like the, the dream goal, basically your goal of your dreams, imagine you're wearing a car, right? Like, a, like you're actually doing it, right? You're probably not gonna get hard. Okay, I, I am already, I'm bricked up. Okay, I just thought about it, I'm bricked the fuck up. Like, I think about that shit sometimes at night, and then I, I won't go. <laughs> anyway, you probably won't get hard from that. But if you think about someone else doing it, while you're in a third-person perspective, you're probably going to get hard. And if you did, that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> no, that's a very big issue, bro. Very big issue. Hey, brother, you... Watch pornography and you wonder to yourself, why do people have porn-induced erectile dysfunction? Why can't people get it up the, with, the, you know, the, the wife? You know what I mean? That's why, bro. Because you're watching this dumbass shit and you're conditioning yourself to be a fucking cock. You know what I mean? So just stop watching it. That's even more motivation to not watch it, bro. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's it in this video. <laughs> that was fucking fast. How long have I been going for, bro? It won't even... Seven minutes. Okay, that's not bad. But yeah, that's it. Short video today. Not really highly edited, but you know, whatever. Um, I'm very tired. I didn't slept yet. I went to gym in the morning and I did some jump rope. 
and um, I fucking fucked on the cobs. I uh, had three eggs and um, I haven't slept. So I am not in a good mood. That's a combined triple whammy per se. So yeah. Thank you for watching my good sirs. Um, you found this helpful, subscribe, like, it helped me out very greatly. And I'll give you some epic uh, videos. Uh, check my website if you're interested. I have some, there's, there's nothing on there really, but it's, you know, it's pretty cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you for watching, take care, and in a bit. There's a bed. The guy you want to fuck is getting, whoa, the guy you want to, whoa, the girl you want to fuck is getting railed by the guy you want to fuck. What the fuck am I talking about?